Hello to people! We have another exciting tutorial for you guys today, as always, and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to recreate Apple.com in iWeb09. Alright guys, I'm going to fly through this part, we're making the menu bar, this is the hardest of the entire tutorial, and also is the most time consuming, so I'm going to try to save time and work pretty fast. If you guys miss something, just rewatch the video. So I just grabbed my tool, that is the square with the rounded edges, and I just made uh, the menu bar the length as far as it can go. Uh, then I'm going to select it, go into my inspector tool. I'm going to change my fill to a gradient fill. I'm going to change the bottom. We're going to go to the third tab over under the palette. We want to go to developer and choose text color. And we're going to do the same thing with our first gradient text color. We're going to go back to that first one. And then we're just going to kind of mess around with these sliders. If you guys find something that looks better than what I'm doing right now, please leave a comment below saying what you did and that will help out everyone else in the community. So that looks about right. You guys can adjust it to see what looks best for you. We want to get rid of the stroke. Uh, I have this folder called apple.com, which basically just has a bunch of stuff for this tutorial, like this Apple logo right here, which I'm going to resize. Stick on there. Now we're going to work on that divider that Apple has. So we're going to go into our shapes. We're going to choose the line without the arrowhead. We're going to resize that that over, move it up. Perfect. Now we go back into our, our inspector tool uh, for showing it to a line. We want to change this to a grayish, blackish color, kind of like halfway. And then we kind of want to move the opacity down to 27%, 27%. That's going to give us that faded look. Grab our text. I'm going to quickly type the word store. Fonts. We want to change this and make sure that every font on this thing is Myrid Pro, the official Apple font. Go into our colors, set it to black, and then resize, and then put up, and then you guys are just going to basically copy and paste and do the same step over for the rest of the tabs. But I'm going to jump ahead to the search bar, so I'm just going to copy the divider, go into our shapes, go to that square with the rounded edges. Move that out, move the uh, blue thing to the right, blue slider to the right, make this a little bit smaller. We're going to go into our inspector tab, uh, we don't want any line. Going back into our apple.com folder, I have a screenshot of the Spotlight logo. Move that over, some more text, search, resize. I'm going to change the font to my red pro. 12, we'll go with 13. Color. i make that a light grayish color. Move that over. And that is it for the menu bar. Alright guys, so now we're going to make that giant ad that Apple has on the website. Again, we're going to use the square tool at the rounded edges. We want to make that pretty big and as wide as it can go. Looks about right. All right, it's going to go into our inspector, and we want to change the fill to a gradient fill. And we want to make the top one mm, a very light gray color, like that. And then we're going to change the stroke to none. Go back into our apple.com folder. And just, you know, have that giant iMac on there. So now we're going to add some text. This text is going to say, the new. This text is going to say, iMac. And this text is going to say, the ultimate all-in-one now with the ultimate display. So we're going to come back to that, but in the meantime, we're going to work on the little thing that says, watch the iMac video. Uh, so we're going to go into our, our shapes. We want to go with the square shape without the, um, without the rounded edges. That's what I was trying to say. Go into our inspector, get rid of the stroke, add a shadow. Just make sure to change the opacity to 23. Then we go into our apple.com folder once again. 
grab this screenshot that I took from of a, the back of an iMac. I'm going to resize that. Also going to resize this. I'm going to move this down a little bit. Then we're going to go into our shapes tool, but not quite. When we resize that, go into our shapes. We're going to go with a circle shape. Resize that. Inspector. Uh, we want to change our line to white. Pixel size, we want to change that to 3. Color fill, none. Go back into our shapes once again. We want to go with the triangle shape. Go into our inspector tool because it's just amazing like that. Uh, we want to change the angle to about 90. We want to flip it. And we want to change so that there is no line. Besides that. Besides that, I'm going to add some more text. This text is going to say, watch the iMac video. Again, make sure to change all these fonts to my Red Pro. I'm not going to, just for the sake of time. The size of this is actually 13, in case you guys didn't see. We want to change the color to a blue. Or a link. It's not perfect because I'm rushing a little bit because I want to try to make this a quick tutorial. Alright, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to adjust these things. So I'm going to go into fonts, size, we want about 24, 25 is good as well. Change the thing to a grayish, whitish color. So make that a little bit wider. It up there. iMac. We want to change this to 130. And we want to change the color to black. Move that over. All in one. Um, this is actually set to a grayish blackish color. And the size, I want to say, is about 20, 21. New iMac, we want to resize this. iMac, we want to make it pretty big. Kind of just adjust a little bit. You guys can do some more adjusting. And that is how you create the um, home effort. Okay, so now we're going to work on that hot news headlines thing that Apple has on the website. And basically what I did to start was I just duplicated the um, background for the advert and then just resized it. Um, so after you do that, you want to go into your stroke, you want to go into a line, and you want to change the stroke to actually a grayish color like that, more towards the whiter side. Then we're going to add some text. This text is going to say hot news. Headlines. I'm going to change the color to black. Make sure to change the font to MyRid Pro. Move that over just a little bit. Then we're going to go into our shapes. Get that divider. So we move the line. And we're just going to resize it. And with this divider, you don't want it to come all the way to the top. I want it to stop out in the middle. Felt that's good. So then you want to add some more text. In this text you can make whatever you want. I'll say Matt Fisher recreates apple.com. Alright, so then you're going to change the color to mm, a slightly lighter gray color. Go 
like that. And there you go. Alright guys, so basically all I did was I took the background of the big advert, resized that and duplicated it four times, and then added the same stroke from the hot news headlines. So that's what I did for the um, backgrounds. For the text, um, it's all MyRid Pro. Um, the, I guess, headline text is black, and the text below that is um, size 13, and it is a gray. Pretty simple. Um, so now we're just going to finish it off by just adding a couple more pictures. So we're going to add our get a Mac, our Magic Mouse, our MacBook, and Mac Mini. So we'll start with the Mac Mini. Resize that. There we go. Next we'll move on to the mouse. There you go, maybe we can make it a little bit bigger. the text down a little bit. Next move on with the MacBook. We can actually make the MacBook bigger too. And the get a Mac ads. So that about does it. The last thing we're make missing is this text at the bottom. And because it would take too long to type that all out, I went the cheap way out and I took a screenshot. Alright guys, and that's it. So that is how you create Apple.com in iWeb09. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to follow me for exclusive content on twitter.com slash fisher12. And if you want to check out my Apple website on the web, go to mattfishersapple.info. Take care.